billion dollars out of private bank accounts and you print a couple trillion dollars and all of a sudden you know what happens people start to worry so out of this worry we have something called the bitcoin it began with a whisper a name a document and a code that would shake the very foundations of the financial world who was satoshi nakamoto why did they disappear and how did one digital coin ignite a revolution the year is 2008 the global financial system is on fire, banks are collapsing, millions lose their jobs, their homes, their hope. All because of the greed of a system labeled too big to fail. In response, governments print trillions to bail out the very institutions that caused the collapse. People begin to ask, who does this system really serve? And then, someone appears. October 2008. A white paper surfaces on a cryptography mailing list, title, Bitcoin, a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system. The author, Satoshi Nakamoto. No one knows who they are. A man, a woman, a group, a myth. January 3rd, 2009. Satoshi launches the Bitcoin network. The very first block contains a hidden message, Chancellor on brink of second bailout for banks. That wasn't an accident. That was a statement. At first, Bitcoin is just a curiosity, a project for coders, cryptographers, dreamers. One of the first to respond? Hal Finney, legendary developer and cypherpunk. He receives the first ever Bitcoin transaction, 10 Bitcoin, from Satoshi. Back then, Bitcoin had no real value, no price, no market. Until one fateful day, May 22, 2010. A man named Laszlo Hanyech buys two pizzas for 10,000 BTC. Today, those pizzas would be worth hundreds of millions. But then, it was proof. Proof that Bitcoin worked. But like any powerful technology, Bitcoin had a dark side. Enter Silk Road. The Darknet's most infamous marketplace. Drugs, weapons, fake IDs. All paid for with Bitcoin. For over two years, it operates in the shadows, until 2013 when the FBI shuts it down and arrests its creator, Ross Ulbricht. Silk Road is gone, but Bitcoin remains, and now it's front page news, for better or worse. Despite the controversy, Bitcoin doesn't die, it grows. In 2017, Bitcoin hits an all-time high, $20,000. Early adopters become millionaires. The media explodes, banks issue warnings. It's a bubble. It's digital gold. One thing is certain, Bitcoin has entered the mainstream. Fast forward to 2021, Tesla buys $1.5 billion worth of Bitcoin. Elon Musk tweets, Bitcoin skyrockets, investment firms, hedge funds, even governments begin to take notice. And then, a world first, El Salvador makes Bitcoin legal tender. The global financial system watches closely. Could Bitcoin challenge the dollar or become its successor? Satoshi Nakamoto disappears in 2011, leaves behind code, a vision, and over a million BTC untouched to this day. Who was he? A lone coder? A government agent? A group of rebels? Or was it all just a myth? His identity remains the greatest mystery of the digital age. Bitcoin is more than code. It's an idea, a movement, a challenge to the status quo, a system built to resist inflation, censorship, and control, but also a tool that can be misused. Will it be the future of finance or just a fascinating experiment? That story is still, a, is still being written, but the story didn't end in 2021. In fact, it was just getting started. As Bitcoin reached new heights, something changed. It was no longer just a project for idealists or tech rebels. Now it was money, real money, held by billionaires, traded by institutions, stored by nations, and with that came pressure. In late 2021, the markets tremble, interest rates rise, inflation surges, tech stocks fall, and Bitcoin, it drops hard from nearly $69,000 to under $20,000. The skeptics return. It's over, they say.
just another bubble popping like all the rest. But Bitcoin doesn't go away because underneath the noise, something deeper remains, the network. Miners keep mining, nodes keep running, blocks keep ticking, every 10 minutes like clockwork. Because this isn't just about getting rich, it's about staying free. 2022 brings chaos, FTX collapses, billions vanish. Once a $32 billion empire, gone in days, the headlines are brutal, the trust shattered. But through it all, Bitcoin stood apart. It didn't lie, it didn't steal, it didn't collapse. Because Bitcoin has no CEO, no headquarters, no bailout fund, it runs on code, on consensus, on truth. Then came 2023, a quieter year, but powerful. Developers kept building, the Lightning Network kept growing. In parts of Africa, Latin America, Bitcoin became more than an investment. It became a lifeline, a way to save, to send money, to survive. Bitcoin was no longer just digital gold, it was digital freedom, and now, 2024, a year of tension and anticipation. The world watches inflation creep back, traditional banks struggle, currencies weaken, and Bitcoin, it quietly gains strength. Governments don't just notice anymore, they act. Some regulate it, others embrace it. Spot ETFs are approved. Wall Street opens the door. The thing they once mocked now sits on their balance sheets. But for the community, price isn't everything. Because looming ahead is a moment that comes once every four years, the halving. The reward for mining Bitcoin is cut in half. Less supply, more scarcity. The next one, April 2024. And if history repeats, it could change everything. So where are we now? 15 years since the Genesis block. Over 90% of all Bitcoin has already been mined. Hundreds of millions know the name. But Satoshi, still silent, still gone, still watching, we may never know. What we do know is this. Bitcoin has survived crashes, bans, scandals, mockery. It has no marketing team, no leader, no central point of failure. And yet, here it is, alive, ticking, relentless. Because Bitcoin is an idea whose time has come. A rebellion written in code, a lifeboat for those who need it most. It's not perfect. It's not always easy, but it is incorruptible. So once again, we ask, what is Bitcoin? A scam, a savior, a spark, or the foundation of a new world? One thing is certain, the story isn't over. It's only just begun. Thanks for watching. If this story moved you, inspired you, or made you think, share it. Hit subscribe, tap the bell, and join the conversation. Because the future of money is something we write together.